so we have the replacement element form that was asked in the education course process round 102 that was created for this and so the problem statement states that we are given an array uh, a where, where a are all positive integers so they must be from one to the maximum value and in one step we can choose uh, three distinct indices one i j k and uh, assign the sum of a, uh, two of the or uh, two of the values at indices j and k and two uh, the first indices so what we can do is a is equal to a j plus a k for some three distinct indices i j k we are asked that can we make all the a lower and or equal to d using the operation any number of times possible is it so we will be given an input array uh, like here and we will be given a maximum value uh, like uh, given over here and we will be asked can we make by doing any number of operations this array in, uh, into a, a different array that has all the elements less than or equal to the maximum value specified over here so uh, uh, let us see the logic behind this so what we will uh, what we will be given is uh, an integer n and uh, elements a1 a2 and 3 a n so what uh, what we can see is that uh, as we are allowed to do any number of steps and we need at at the end of doing all the steps we need all the elements less than or equal to a certain maximum value that is d so what we can see is that if any element is less than or equal to d already before uh, before in the, uh, in the initial state then we do not uh, need to change the, that element but in the case if uh, any element is greater than or equal to the uh, greater than the specified value d then we can we should replace it by at least a maximum value d so uh, we can see that we can achieve this by replacing each element which is greater than d by the minimum um, minimum sum of two elements already present in the array so let us see uh, for this array we have two elements that is uh, named one is named m and which is the uh, m1 which is the uh, least value and uh, like and we compare all the elements this is the least value we can get at any at, at any any indices and we have another number that is m2 this number m2 is can be equal to m1 but should be at a different indices than uh, when that uh, where m1 was found. so let's say the minimum number is found at two indices then the, both m1 and m2 will be equal to that minimum number but if the minimum number is occurs only one time then m2 will be a number different but just get uh, the the least number from the rest of the numbers except the m so what we can see is that let us head on to the code so th this is the code we first input and uh, input a long long ll represents long long so we get an input from the uh, in, uh, from the test case and uh, this input we can copy over here so we get the input number of test cases and then we uh, head on to uh, running each test case so in the first test case uh, we uh, take input n and d where n is the number of elements in the array and d is the maximum allowed value and uh, then we create an array and uh, uh, zero where this array will store the r values we take the input values and then after uh, after each iteration, uh, uh, with each iteration, with each input number, we check if it is greater than D. Then we, like, uh, for a check, we assign value CH equal to 1, which was initially equal to 0. So if any of the elements is greater than D, we will have CH equal to 1 at the end of this iteration. And if none of the elements is greater than uh, D, we do not need to change the array. And uh, the output is yes. So that is uh, that is checked over here. And we don't need to uh, run the function uh, to the further steps. But if CH equal to 1, we will head on to this step. Now, already for m and 1 and m and, uh, we have calculated m and 1 to the minimum value by using this uh, this condition but we also need an m and 2 which is the second least value which can be put m and 1 as explained before and this this thing uh, this condition checks this that m and 2 uh, uh, this uh, condition checks is that m and 2 is 
uh, greater than uh, the current uh, current element and also the indices of the mn1 is not equal to the index index of the uh, current element we are expect after that we check if mn1 and uh, the sum of mn1 and mn2 which is the least sum possible in this area is less than or equal to so if this is less than or equal to t we will be able to set the value as mn1 plus mn2 for every every uh, every element which was already greater, greater than d and this would uh, this would help us gain the result that is all the elements are less than less than equal to d and if this is not, uh, this is not true we will head on to uh, outputting that is, uh, our condition is uh, our condition is not met and we will output no so let us see if our code works So we can clearly see that our code is accepted and this is the solution.